Hey guys, it's Pia here and today I wanted to make a little video showing you a few of my recent customs that I finished. I was gone from YouTube for a couple of weeks due to some other projects that I've been working on and uh, so I thought it would be fun to do a little recap of what I've been doing for the past few weeks. Uh, so in this video I'll be showing you five customs that I completed recently. Two of those are based on characters from the game Undertale. One of them is a South Park character and two of them are original characters. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. As always, please don't copy my original characters. And uh, as for the other ones, you may absolutely make customs based on the same character, but please don't copy the exact details that I put into mine because as always, I try to be original with mine. So yeah, I really appreciate all of you who are very respectful towards my work. It's really nice of you to do that. But yeah, let's get to the customs. I'm gonna show the Undertale customs first, then the South Park inspired custom, and then the two original characters last. So here we go. So the first custom I wanted to show you was inspired by a character named Temi from the game Undertale. I played this game a long while ago and Temi wasn't really one of the main characters, but lots of people love them. I don't remember if it's a boy or a girl, so I'm just gonna refer to it as them. Uh, but yeah, so this is what they look like and the stripes on the shirt look kind of weird. <laughs> they look fine from the front, which is what I was going for, but from the side... Uh, I don't know what's going on there, <laughs> so please ignore it. Um, but yeah, for this one I sculpted the hair and these extra ears, I don't even know what they are, and then the sweater on them. So uh, yeah, this is what it looks like, and I'm actually going to do an updated collection video showing you all of my Undertale customs in case you forgot some of them, because actually uh, this one, so this one was Temi, and the next one that I'll be showing you, which is based on Muffet, are actually the last two customs from Undertale that I wanted to make, so yeah. But I'm gonna show you Muffet next, so here she is. Ta-da! So Muffet is obviously a little spider lady. I sculpted hair on her and some bows in the hair and this little bow right there. Uh, it was kind of hard to make her from a spider base because in the game she has a kind of human form to her. So she has actual legs that have boots on them and then she has a dress on and she has all these extra sort of arms. But with this one obviously it just has eight legs like a spider has. Um, so it was a little bit strange but I just wanted her to look really cute and I was actually really happy using a spider base because I don't think I've ever made a custom from an LPS spider. So that was cool. And I hope that you guys like her. I absolutely love how her eyes turned out. I think they look really cool. So, hope you enjoyed this little custom if you're a fan of Undertale. Uh, then we're gonna get to my custom based on a character from South Park. So, hope you guys like him as well. So, this custom is based on the superhero called Tupperware from the South Park game The Fractured But Whole. And this is the alter ego of the character Token. And um, yeah, he looks like this. And I also made a helmet for him which was incredibly hard to make, but I'm gonna show it to you in a second. It's just very hard to show on camera because it has quite a bit of scratches on it, so on camera it looks kind of bad because all the light is reflecting on it and stuff. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna show it anyway. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's the best I could do, honestly. It was really hard to make. Um, also, he features some weird plastic details here around it. For these, I actually just used some tape, and for this one, I think also tape and then I sculpted on top of it. Um, I don't actually remember, it was a while ago that I sculpted this one. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I hope that you guys like how he turned out. I think he's really, really cute. Um, the helmet is a little strange, but at least it is a helmet. So I'm giving myself a little bit of credit for actually doing that. So uh, here he is with his helmet. Okay, so I had to redirect the light a little bit for this one so that it wouldn't have a huge glare on the helmet. So I apologize if this part of the video is a little bit darker, but as you can see, I made this helmet for him and it was made from some plastic that I took from an LPS, um, I think it was a Playful Kitties set that I never unboxed, but I had it uh, on my shelf for a long time, so I just took this plastic and then I super glued it there at the back and then I, after that dried, I put on some of my sculpting putty on it and then I painted it and it looks really bad from the top, so I'm not gonna show it, but I think it works. It's fine, it's not perfect, uh, but at least it's something, so I'm happy with it. <laughs> And here he is one final time with that awful glare on his helmet, but I'm gonna just try to show him from all angles. So yeah, this definitely looks really ugly from the back, but thankfully he's just supposed to be displayed from the front, so... <laughs> anyway, I did my best. So I'm gonna give myself some credit for at least trying to do something, but yeah, I'm not even gonna pretend like this is a good helmet. <laughs> anyway, let's get to some customs now that are my original characters, and let's leave this one behind us. So the fourth custom that I wanted to show you was once again one of these that I made for our collaboration called Littlest Customs. 
Uh, this one was made for the month of January and Emma's Customs actually sent me a mood board that inspired this one. I'm just going to show it to you really quickly and then I'm going to show you more of this custom. So as you can see, the mood board features all of these really nice sort of royal and regal looking things. All of this gold and these kind of peachy tones or these pink tones. And um, there's obviously that mask that was kind of the main inspiration for my design and then, yeah. That's kind of what I went for. I started with the mask and then I decided I'm gonna make something kind of regal looking. So this is what we have. And um, obviously the gold and the sort of peachy pink was also taken from the mood board. And I wanted to use this base figure because I've never customized one of these near LPS bunny rabbits um, of this particular shape. <laughs> so yeah, I painted this mask on her. I put all this uh, nice sort of pearly shimmer around it to make the mask a little bit more 3D. I also put some glitter in her eyes because I thought that that would be a cool detail and I think they look very pretty. And then I sculpted these feathers on her and put in these pearls because I thought that they would be super pretty as well. Then I painted her ears to make them look like they were dipped in gold and I think that they do. I also added a bunch of glitter to that because I am very obsessed with glitter as you guys probably know by now. <laughs> then I also put some gold on her paws so they also kind of look like they were dipped in gold. And I think that she turned out super super cute and very kind of regal looking and yeah i think she's adorable by the way the other customs in this video won't be up for grabs but this one will and the next one that i'm going to show you will also be available in my etsy shop at some point uh, if you're interested in adopting any of my customs please have a look at my etsy shop and i'm going to update it as soon as possible with this one and the next one that i'll be showing however i'm not entirely sure when i'll be putting them up so Keep an eye on that. Also keep an eye on my Instagram because I think I'll be updating that one once I put these customs up there in my Etsy shop. Um, there's a link in the description of the video that will take you to my Etsy shop, by the way. Anyway, um, so yeah, this was what I made for the month of January and I'm really excited to do something else for next month. So hope you guys like this one and let's get to the last custom in this video. So here's the last custom that I wanted to show you this time. This one was inspired by some sort of arctic fox. I actually googled an arctic fox because I thought that I saw one at some point that had this kind of cool almost mask looking uh, pattern around its eyes and then I found a really cool picture and I was inspired by that one. And this custom actually was something that I had already sculpted a long time ago. As you can see it has a bracelet around its paw and that's because I was gonna make this one into, um, if you've seen my series 7, uh, there's this character called Troy and this was gonna be his big or little brother, I wasn't entirely sure. Um, so I sculpted him and then I never ever really got around to finishing him and I never came up with a design for him so then I thought why not just paint him and make him something completely different. So then I did this one and I wanted to put all these little paint strokes in to make them kind of look like fur and it was mostly just because I was feeling a little stressed and this was a great way to get rid of those uh, stressful feelings when I could just paint all these little uh, for strokes on it uh, one by one and it was just really wonderful and therapeutic for me so <laughs> I would definitely recommend that if you're feeling stressed you should definitely customize your LPS <laughs> but yeah this one is actually also going to be available in my Etsy shop uh, as I said I'm gonna be updating my Instagram probably when I put this one up for adoption there as well as the other one that was based on the mood board and if you're interested in adopting any of my customs please check out my Etsy shop every now and then there's a link in the description of the video, as I said. Absolutely love this one. I hope that you guys do too. And I hope that you like how the fur details turned out because I had so much fun painting it. So, and I think it looks kind of great. So <laughs> hope you guys like it as well. Um, but yeah, that's all I had to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and see you again in the next one. Bye bye.